What's up, Foundation? What's up, YouTube? Man, it's me, your big partner, Cartoon53. Man, I'm back again in story time. But now, before we get into it, you know, uh, let me let remind my uh, my paid subscribers that uh, tomorrow, which is going to be Monday the 18th, uh, I'm going to be giving y'all the video over there that I told y'all that I was, I've been telling y'all about, um, it'll, you know, it, it'll be late in the day, but just, you know, so y'all be aware, giving people, uh, who might want to become paid subscribers, uh, last little second to go ahead and join in. But, um, even though I'm giving them a video, I'm, you know, I'm still going to do my regular, my regular foundation nation members. You know, I love y'all too. I ain't going to leave y'all out. I'm still going to have some for y'all too tomorrow anyway. Anyway, uh, <clears throat> man, this is, uh, as you can tell by the title, the first time I met the homie, man, uh, Crip Cal from Schoolyard Crip. First time I met him, man. Wild situation, wild situation. We gonna go back to Corcoran, Corcoran Prison, about 1980, 88, no, 1989. Late 1989, Corcoran Prison. Um... When I first got there, I was on the I was on the B facility. I forgot what happened. I can't even remember why I ended up getting transferred to the A yard. Yeah, I went from B yard to A yard. Lockup was on A yard. Yeah. Anyway, so I ended up leaving and going to the A yard. I'm on the A yard for a cool minute. For a cool, cool minute. You know what I'm saying? Ain't no thing. You know, just over there doing what I do. Um, I, now when I call a cool, cool minute, <laughs> let me take it back. No, cause I was going to say I was over there. Cool, cool minute before I got into it. No, um, before, well, before things start changing for me, they started changing my second, my second day on that yard, my second day on that yard. And the reason why it changed because <clears throat> it was a dude on the yard claiming my set. Uh, <clears throat> now nah, I didn't know it from Adam's cat. I went to go speak with the cat. Um, his brother, I knew his, his older brother was from the set. Him, I didn't know. He really wasn't. I believe he just came in there and started claiming. But the thing is, he was a buster. He was a mark. He was scary. Uh, a couple of dudes had told me about him, but now I had to go see it for myself. Just because I didn't know you on the streets, it don't mean... It, when I when I run across somebody in, in the prison that's claiming a set, I'm automatically, oh, he ain't from my set. Boy. No, you don't do that. Do not do that. You never know. I met many guys that got put on the set while I was in jail. Now, if you do a lot of jail time, of course you're going to miss a whole lot of dudes. It's people getting, you know, if your set like mine, people getting put on the set all the time. We recruit all the time. You know what I'm saying? Ain't You know what I'm saying? No one left behind, you know. But anyway, so yeah, uh, dudes, are, you know, you see, I've seen dudes get put on the set and two, three months later, or two, three weeks later, catch a case. Now they going to jail for a long time. You run across them in prison. You don't know him, but don't automatically assume that they not from the set. Wait till you take it at face value. Wait till you get on the phone, call somebody like, hey, cuz, man, there's somebody in here. Call themselves, blah, blah, blah. Boom, boom, boom. Are they from the set? And you do it, go about that route. But anyway, with this cat, when dudes will st start telling me about him, man, to him, man, that dude was scared, man, that dude, wah, 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 wah. All right, like I say, I'm going to go find out for myself. I went to the cat, and um, I pulled him out the block, and I got out like, cub, man, you know, man, homie, look, hey, man, they saying this, this, and this about you. Oh, man, you know, of course, first thing he go holler, they lying, man, they lying, man, ain't nobody, woo, no, no. I'm like, well, cuz, check this out. I'm not finna judge you of what they say or what happened before I got to this yard. I'm fixing to judge you off what I see while I'm here. He like, bet it up. All right, all right. I say, but now, cuz, check this out. You know what I'm saying? I don't know you. You don't know me. You ain't never did no time with me, homie. I push a hard line, cuz. I push a hard line, homie. I don't take no disrespect to that A gang, homie. Don't not make us look bad. Period. Don't do that. Oh no, cuz you know, woo, woo, woo. I'm like, all right, well, cool. 
Uh, lo and behold, it didn't take but about two, three days. He didn't take but about but about two, three days, man. Um, I had a I had a uh, I had a partner hit the yard. About yeah, about three days, three, four days, matter of fact. But I had a partner hit the yard. Um, he uh, my partner Ant Dog from Full Trade. Me and him end up selling up. Now I know a lot of people will be like, because they know how I feel about them cats. But he was a blue note like me. You know, in that in that prison system, all that street stuff. Eh. And then back then though, back then though, it wasn't no, it wasn't no, it wasn't no funk anyway. Come to think of it. Yeah, it wasn't no funk between us at back then at that time anyway. The funk didn't come till later. So I wouldn't have had no problem with living, living with one of them cats. So anyway, um, he go to the yard one day. He knew the dude. Like I say, the, you know, the dude was out the area. He just wasn't a really official from I said. But anyway, he knew the dude. And with him knowing the dude, they kicking it one night on the yard. Because I'm going to fast forward this because it ain't about this situation. Um, He get it. The, the, the little youngster, he get into it with the insanes. With a dude. He get into it with a dude named, um, if I'm not mistaken, a dude named Rob Dog. He get into somebody named Rob Dog from Insane. Um, when the in line came in for the last in line that night, dudes come in. Uh, I forget the homie from Six Nine East Coast name, but he came. He like to him, cause hey man, they got at your home boy on the yard. I'm like, what? He like, yeah man, they took his radio, took this that that. that. I'm like, what? I'm like, okay, don't trip, don't trip. All right, cause don't trip, don't trip. So uh, I'm hot now. You know what I'm saying? Because me, you know, a type of person I am, you ain't, you not finna say, do, look, none of that to Avalon. Not on the yard with me. Now, if I'm there, we finna go to jail or H-E-L-L. -L, you know? Simple as that. I ain't having it, homie. So, um, I couldn't wait to get, get, get out to the yard that morning. So, when I went in the cell that night, I make me two of them. I make, I'm making me two nice ones. So, my celly at the time was, uh, Dang, I forget Cuz's name. When I first, I met him years earlier. When I first met him, he was from Full Trey Hoover. I ended up seeing him years later. He ended up turning five Deuce Hoover. But, um, dang, what's his name? What's his, I can't remember his name. But me and him was real cool. So he ended up telling me, he liked man to him, don't do it, don't do it. I'm like, no, Cuz, no, no, man, no, no. I said, I don't know who them man. Now they tripping. So the next day, boom. I go out. When I go to the yard, I got the homie Capone from Nutty Block Com to crib with me. Um, he was blue no two. So uh make a long story short, me and uh, another homie uh Q Ball from 116 6 Avalon and a couple of more dudes, we go down to the other dude block, get at him, come to find out what was up, what's going on, blah 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 blah. What's happening, what's happening, what's happening? Okay, so I'm I'm finna skip around because there's a whole lot of stuff happened with that. I'm finna just skip around that whole story. Um, that was some gum, y'all. You know, I already talk funny with a list. And I ain't got no even. I, I sure can't talk when I got gum in my mouth too. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, uh, during during the confrontation, while I'm standing there with him, the insanes come up, and um, uh, dude, uh, dude, uh, big bandit, Rob Dog, uh, Pasquale, Three Finger Milton. A few of them. It, it was about six or seven all together. But now we arguing in front of the block. I don't, whoa, 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 whoa. So me and the dude bandit from insane was finna get down. I, I told I told Cuz, I said, look, homie. Um, when the end, I say, you know, because I'm I'm ready to fight. And I say, I'm like, Cuz. So I was accused of taking up for my homeboy. So now they went to get bandit because of because of the size, my size, bandit size. So I so when he came back, I'm like, cuz it don't make me no difference who I get down with. On the next in line, we just going in there and get down. You know what I'm saying? But uh ain't nobody finna F over my little homie. So when I said that, the dude Rob Dog told the the, the so-called little homie, went to calling him all type of busters and 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 punks and woo woo woo. I'ma get down with you. So I'm looking at this so-called little homie. He he man, he's straight up. I'm pussied up. Oh, I'm looking. I'm like, hold on, what? I'm like, no, cuz what? 
I'm like, man, this fool called you talking to you like this. Man, I don't want no problem, man. I don't want no problem. And when the doors opened up on the inline, shot back in the block. I was sick. I was stupid. I couldn't understand none of that. I was ready to throw up in my mouth. Man, you punked the game like this in my face and you claiming the set? Man, no. Man, I was hurt. I was, man, what? Immediately, I turned to the inside. I said, cuz, y'all check this out. Hey, man. All bets off, homie. That fool right there, he's not from Avalon, period. Whatever y'all do to him, y'all can do to him. Because they had took his walk, man, and um, his little Super 2 or whatever. You know, Super 2 radio at the time or Super 3 is whatever we had back then. And I, But I tell him, like, cuz, man, y'all do what y'all want to. I, hey, I'm out of that. I ain't got nothing to do with that cuz. That's on y'all. Y'all do what y'all want to with this fool. So I was going to leave, and the dude Rob Dog said, yeah, man, because you was set tripping, man. I'm like, hold up, cuz, what you mean set tripping? Man, listen, I said, homie, I don't do no set tripping. I said, homie, I'm a blue note. I don't do no set tripping. Not with cribs. So now when I said that, everybody like, kind of like, what? Kind of step back and look. So of course, me, the homie Capone, and the homie Ant Dog, you know, all of us, you know, all three of us, had, you know, we standing there, we blue note. So um, when I said that, they kind of looked at me, kind of got standoffish, like, oh, what? Oh, man, what? So I ended up walking off leaving. I was through with that situation, through with that whole program. Little did I know, I had um, I had, I had let them cats know what was happening with me. So now immediately they start, you know, as the days went on, they looking at me like, okay, everybody that was around me had to be blue nose too. But the cold part about it, nine times out of ten, they were true. It was right. You know, at that on that yard right there, I was calling shots for the blue nose on that yard. And so uh so now it kind of like put all 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 my all you know what I'm saying, all my people on the spot, like like okay, he got to be one, 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 he must be one, boo boo. And they was real, it was right, they they was right, you know what I'm saying? Cause you know what I'm saying. At that time, I really did not fool with you. Tough, tough, tough. I would, you know, kick it, talk, or whatever. But as far as real tight, kicking it, talk, cool, on the yard every day together, and all, if you wasn't blue note, I didn't really rock with you like that. So anyway, time goes on. You know, my girl at the time, my baby mama, she coming up on the yard every weekend. Every weekend. So now at this time in Corcoran, we was getting visits four times a week. We was getting visits Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Thursday and Friday were night visits. Saturday and Sunday were the regular morning visits. You know what I'm saying? It was it was it was a trip. And um uh my wife at the time, Priscilla, she wasn't missing a beat. She was not missing a beat. Uh you know, she rest in peace now. Shout out, shout out to Goose, man. Her nickname was Goose. Um, she, I was, I was pushing, she bring, she bringing that weed up. She bring, she bringing that pack up. 90 going north. You know what I'm saying? I was, I was, ball, I was kind of balling out of control a little bit because she was bringing it up in there, you know? So anyway, time going on, time going on. Um, little incidents start happening. Um, I remember I walked up, uh, I went to go holler at one day. A dude that I had been knowing for a minute was real cool with. The homie Bodacious from uh, 5-9 East Coast. And I walked over to holler at him about someone that he was over here with a with a, with a bunch of cats. And um, when I'm, hey, Bodacious, come me holler at you, homie, and woo, woo, woo. So he looked, he like, man, too, hold on, let's step to the side for a minute. <clears throat> and make a long story short. He was like, man, Tune, I don't really, I don't fool with you like that no more. I'm like, Cub, what you talking about, Cub? A oh, man, you know, Cub, man, you know, you under paperwork and whoop, 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 and whoop, 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 and you know, Cub, we gonna just, I'm like, I understand, homie, don't even trip, Cub, do what you do, homie, you know what I'm saying? It ain't no thing. It ain't no thing. Um, and then after that, a lot of stuff start happening. Um, we end up falling out. Um, with the Compton car. With the Watts car and with the Long Beach car. Of no fault of mine. They was just like, man, that dude right there, he wanted it. You know, they didn't want no structured 
nobody that was under paperwork on the yard. They 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 just was upset with that. But now, of course, they could not get us off the yard. You feel what I'm saying? Because they was that you know, they they mind wasn't structured like mine and my people's mind was structured. They mind was structured for uh we gonna pack you out or jump on you and say, no nah, homie, no, nah, not not back then, not none of that. All you was gonna do was uh make me and my people see what your insides look like. Cause we was gonna open you up. And they knew that. You know what I'm saying? So they they you know they just you know used to shoot daggers at us from a distance. Out you know what I'm saying? But cool. You know, we ain't fooling with y'all. Y'all ain't got to fool with us. We had the we had the bleachers at the whole end, at the whole end down here by the kitchen. You know what I'm saying? When we was on that beat, we was on that, we was on them bleachers, 12, 13 deep. Y'all knew, y'all knew what was up. Y'all know what's up with us. Y'all know where we are and what we doing on them bleachers. We kicking it. Um, you don't like us, cool. You know, don't even trip. You don't like us, we don't like you then. You know what I'm saying? That's what it is. So um as time as time goes on, I used to um fool with the homie uh Lil Diamond from schoolyard. Now, Lil Diamond was cool. He, he and um he used to fool with the homie um um oh man, what's the homie from Raymond name? Um Max something uh dang what's cuz name, man. He, uh 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 man, something Mac. J Mac or Ski Mac or it was something like that, man. Sorry, man, I forgot the homie name. But anyway, they were real cool. And of course, you know, the homie, he was he was blue no too. So anyway, um people on the yard start peeping that Lil Diamond was fooling with cuz. And then he they start peeping that he was fooling with me. They never knew what the demo was, though. They never really knew what the demo was. But what the demo was. He needed a way, you know what I'm saying? He needed a way for his girl to get up there. And, and so my, I had my wife, I started having my wife pick his girl up and she would come with my, she would come with my girl and we needed, you know, we started doing business on the weed tip. You know what I'm saying? I helped, I helped the little youngster out a lot. Now from, they, they would, they would, you know, other do dude, other dudes on the yard, other places, they was pushing up on Lil Diamond like, man, why you fooling with them dudes? Man, you know them dudes such and such. Man, you know them dudes, Blue Nose. They on the paperwork, man. Y'all shouldn't, wah, 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 wham. You sh I mean, you shouldn't, boom. But now what they didn't know is I never, I never, uh, I never presented that to Diamond. I never asked him anything about it. Never, he never asked me anything about it. He did ask me, was I one? I told him, yeah, homie, I am. You know what I'm saying? But now he pushed to the side, like I said. I wasn't never finna try to trick him into nothing. No, you got the wrong group. Not not the, our, our group don't do that. And so um people didn't know it though. All they knew is that he was fooling with me and he started fooling with me heavy. So now the first thing on their mind is okay, I done recruited this little youngster. And I did not. Didn't even try to. You know what I'm saying? In fact, I didn't even want him. In that, you know what I'm saying? You know, he was a cool little dude, but it was certain type dudes that I looked for for that type of get out. You know what I'm saying? And um he wasn't he wasn't he wasn't that. You know, he was a cool dude, but he wasn't what I looked for as far as becoming what I was a part of. So anyway, time goes on, time goes on. I'm in the kitchen one day, and um one of my tight, one of my tight homies, uh dude uh uh, dang, I'm, I had a, I had a brain fart, but the home, but the homie, um, Crazy T from Trey Five Cell, he rest in peace right now, y'all, man. Um, a rider, a rider of the first order, a rider of the first order, man. The homie Tommy Tarpley, Crazy T, had a messed up hand. Um, he was, you, if, yeah, yes, he was a blue note. Um, he was, he was my, he was my, my like my left hand, my right hand man. My right hand man, man. When I tell you, he, I'm talking about was with the business. So anyway, I'm working in the kitchen one day. So um, I'm talking at the time. I'm talking to a dude named Big Hog from Long Beach Twenties. Now me and Hog got along, even though the 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 other uh, the, uh, the the some of the other factions in the Long Beach car didn't was we weren't really seeing eye to eye because they just didn't trust paperwork. But anyway. The dude, Big Hog, 
I was cool with because uh, the Insanes was on him. They was on him. They was on him. And so uh, I would talk to him. I would talk to him. So I'm standing there talking to him. And the homie Crazy T from Trey 57 come in the kitchen. He say, Cub, man, we was just going to get off. We was just going to get off work. We was just going to get off work. And um, he come in. He say, Cub, man, it's a dude out here looking for you. I'm like, what? What you talking about? Say, yeah, homie, uh, say he looking for you. I'm like, who? He say, man, some dude from school yard. I'm like, what he want? I don't know, cuz. He said, man, I'm not really sure, but from what I understand, somebody done told him that uh, you recruited this little homeboy, Diamond. I'm like, what? I'm like, oh, no, cuz, man, what? So, you know, man, I'm meeting any and everything head on, point blank, man. I'm the wrong one to be looking for, not me. You know what I'm saying? Especially how it was back then. You looking for me. Yeah, all right. You finna find me then. Because I'm coming to you. Man, I fly up out the kitchen. Yow. Clean that little cat. Clean that stuff off. I shot out the kitchen. Now, of course, I'm heated. Yes, I'm heated. Yes, definitely I'm heated at this time. Um, So me, Crazy T, and um, no, it was just me and Crazy T. We walking, so I'm looking for this. I'm looking. I'm looking. I'm looking for this fool. I'm like, cuz who they call themselves looking for me? So now, the dude who was looking for me was uh, was Crip Cow, was Diamond's big homeboy, Crip Cow from school yard. He had just came over from the A yard. No, he had came over from the C yard and just came to A yard. And dudes had got in his ear and tr and telling him a bunch of lies. Man, this big old dude named Cartoon Man from Avalon, man, he a blue note, man. He done recruited your little homeboy, man. Got your homeboy up under that mess, man, and doing this, this, and that, this, and that, and that. So now, of course, now he now he on some trip. He on some trip type stuff. Like, man, where, the, who, who, where he at then? Where he at? Um, Of course, he didn't know me. <laughs> I don't think he'd have been looking for me like that if he knew me. <laughs> but anyway, um, Word got to me, so now we coming down the walkway, and the home and the homie Crazy T like, man, cuz look at that fool go right there. So I'm like, all right, cool. So I bail up on him. I'm like, hey, cuz check this out, homie, you looking for me? He like, man, who are you? I said, cuz I'm cartoon, homie. He like, yeah, man, yeah, yeah, I need to holler at you. I'm like, cuz what's up? So now I'm waiting to hear. I'm waiting to hear whatever I'm hear, which I, what I call a trigger phrase. A trigger phrase for me is. Tough talk, that means a declaration of war. I don't play and I didn't play then. You know what I'm saying? You, I, man, huh, up with the heat and I was going to go to work because you call yourself looking for me. I don't know, you know, what, what? So, boom, we end up walking, though. So, I'm like, Cub, what's up? Talk to me. What, what, what you looking for me for, homie? He like, Cub, man, they say, man, you done, uh, you done slid up on my little homeboy cousin, got him over there on your side of the fence with this, that, 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 that. You know what I'm saying? I say, hold up, cuz, check this out. I say, me and your little homeboy cool. My wife brings his girl up on the visiting yard. They ride together. I say, I do business with him on the weed tip, cuz, that's it. I say, now, I don't know what nobody done told you. I say, look, I don't fool with a whole lot of these crips on this yard, man. It's a it's a situation. You feel what I'm saying? It's, it's, it's a situation. Um... Yeah, I'm a blue note, homie, but I ain't never approached your little homeboy with that. It just so happens Diamond was coming across the yard. We called him over there. Come here, cuz. Come here. Come here. So I told, I called Crip Cow. I'm like, cuz, I'm not even going to say nothing. You ask your little homeboy. Because, oh boy, because now Crip Cow's a rider too now. Don't let me take nothing from him. He hadn't even seen his little homeboy yet. Soon as he hit the yard, dudes went to running and telling him lies or whatever they was telling him. He immediately went on the hunt. Like, oh, where this fool at, man? Mess with my little homeboy. You know, I commend him for that. He was on that type of stuff. Hadn't even seen his little homeboy yet. But he finna step up for his little homeboy. Cool. I'd have did the same thing. So um, when he said what he said to Diamond, Diamond told him, no, cuz, no, it ain't like that tune the homie, man. Then he went to tell him about how these other dudes was trying to press him. You know, he had been getting into a little different altercation. Oh, that's what it was. I forgot. He had got into an altercation with some of them other crips on the yard. It wasn't a physical altercation. It was verbal at first. But they called themselves pressing the little homie 
because they knew he was getting that weed and he was the only schoolyard on the yard. Um, the homie, that's what it was. The homie, um, uh, dang, what's the homie from Raymond Cub? Mac or something, Mac. He stepped in and took up for the little homie. Then, you know what I'm saying? I started fooling with the little homie. So they figure, okay, if the if one of us stepped up for him, then he got to be one of us. And that's what they was thinking, but it was wrong. He wasn't. We just didn't like to see the little youngster, you know what I'm saying, being pressed like that. He the only one on the yard from his set. So anyway, the, the uh, little diamond told Kirk Cow, no, Cub, man, too, man, they looked out for me, man. They did this, that, da, 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 my girl and blah, 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 you know? So he was like, oh, okay, Cub, all right, you know what I'm saying? So I'm like, man, you, now you hear from your homie mouth, cuz, you, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, cuz, what's up? You, we, 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 we straight, we good? You know, he like, yeah, cuz, blah, 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 blah. He went his way, I went my way. That's how we initially first met. Um, now, I'm not gonna lie, in the back of my mind, I, I, didn't, really, I didn't really like him at that time. For, just because you call yourself looking for me. The way my the way my attitude was back in them 80s back then, like that, like looking for me, cuz you got the nerve to look for me. Who in their right mind looking for death? You know that that's just how my mind worked back then. So anyway, uh that was in 89. I ended up catching a shoe term. Bang, corker shoe, shot the Pelican Bay shoe. Um, I don't come out the shoe till 92. I come out to shoot the first time in 1992. And so uh I go to where did I go? Did I go to eight block or one block? No, eight block, two block, whatever block I went to. I got my stuff. Bing. I go up to the cell. When the cell opened up, first person I see sitting on the bed was Crip Cal. I look. So I come on in. I'm like, I'm like, oh, what's up, cuz? He like, man, what's up, man? He say, Ain't you uh? I say, cuz, I'm cartoon, homie. He like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, cuz, you uh, you 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 from school, you right? He like, yeah, crib cow. I'm like, that's what's up, cuz. Yeah, yeah, that's right. So I come on the door, close back. I set my bags right here on the ground, and I sat down on on you know on the toilet. Went to talking to him. I wasn't fit to start doing no unpacking. Let me see how this gonna go. Let me see, you know, how, you know how this gonna go, cause our la in my mind, our last meeting, you know, what I'm saying it, it was, it was kind of adversarial, even though it ended well. Let me see what's up. So we, I sat there, we talked for about two hours. Realized, man, the homie was cool. Man, the homie was cool. Only thing about it, he smoked them goddamn cigarettes. And I told him, I said, Cub, man, we ain't gonna be able to do this one, homie. You know, with them cigarettes. So he was like, man, you know, boy, I, you know, I smoke every now and then. Da 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 da. And so what he would do, you know, we had them little, you know, we had them gates back there with all them little holes in it. So the homie would go to the gate, you know, smoke, blow the smoke out or whatever. You know, what? no thing. All right, cool. I put up with it. Um, Lo and behold, as time went on, this was the best celly I had ever had my whole time in the California CDC system. My second best was the homie, um... Was the uh was the homie um crazy T from Trey Fisell. But me and Crip Cal from school, y'all, man, he was cool as a fan. He the one showed me and taught me how to play P Knuckle, man. I didn't know how to play P Knuckle till I moved in the cell with Cuz. And um, he's the only person I ever seen was able to stop uh, on the drop of a dime and drop a cigarette, and not smoke it. One day I made him a bet. I made him a twenty dollar bet. We sitting there playing peanut. I say, "Cuz, I, I bet you twenty dollars that uh you can't stop smoking." So he tell me like, "Big homie, too, man, I can stop whenever I want to." I said, "No, you can't." He said, "Yes, I can." I said, "I bet you twenty dollars you can't, Cuz." He said, "I tell you what, when I'm finished with this cigarette right here, uh, I ain't gonna smoke for how long?" I say, "Cuz, go thirty days." He said, all right. He finished that cigarette, throw it in the toilet, flushed the toilet, and never smoked another cigarette again. When the 30 days ended, he still didn't go back to smoking. He is the only person I ever seen do that. But man, look, when I tell you, man, when I tell you, man, Crip Cal was a rider, he was a rider, man. Uh, so a lot of people thought that uh, 
he had came he had came up under paperwork, but uh he didn't, y'all. He he stayed he stays he stayed just straight, strictly schoolyard crit. Did I present him with it? Yes. Yeah, I did. But he wasn't with all that. But anyway, man, um, that's how I end up meeting Crip Cal from Schoolyard, man. We were sellies, we sellied up in Pelican Bay. Um, when um we went lockdown, we got into a Damascus, ended up going lockdown. After uh, we was on lockdown two, three months or whatever. That's when I'm telling you about how they rolled. We, they rolled the um the, the uh, gray goose. They rolled the prison buses up on the yard. Just throwed us on the buses. Ow! Shot us straight to Lancaster when Lancaster first opened up. I was the first black foot to step on that yard in Lancaster when it first opened up. Um, Crip Cow was on the bus with me though. I tried to get Selly back up with him, but his homeboy Sean is really S E A N Sean. But instead of saying Sean. He pronounced it scene. His homeboy Big Scene was there, and he wanted to, he wanted Crip Cow to sell you up with him. So he like, Tune, let me go ahead and sell you up with the homie, man. You know he's from the set. I'm like, go ahead, cuz. I ended up uh selling up with mm, Oh shoot, I can't remember. I can't remember. But I know after a while, that's when I end up selling up with with uh I end up selling up, they end up putting uh the dude Pierre from Fruit Town Pyro in the cell. I told y'all that story. And we sitting there talking one day and he ended up telling me he a blood. I'm like, huh? You what? He like, yeah, you didn't know? I'm like, no, what you doing in the cell with me? Oh, shoot, dude. I you know, I thought you wanted you, I thought you knew because I asked him to move in because he was helping me sell my weed. You know, I was still doing my thing. But uh, you know, but anyway, but yeah, that's how I end up meeting um the homie Crip Cal from school. Yeah, I don't know where the homie at right now, but anybody anybody uh out there know where he at, man. Tell him um uh, tell him man this big part of man cartoon me side Avalon. Say what's happening, homie. What's happening, man? But anyway, man, that's that story right there. I'm gonna end that one, man. Um uh, remember. Got your story for the paid subscribers tomorrow, man. And I, I got, I'm still going to look out for my regular Foundation Nation, man. I love all y'all the same, for real, for real. But anyway, man, it's me. <clears throat> I represent the gangsters, homie. Peace. I'm out.